De La Wright, my envious. Welcome. Ikbe is rumored to have been hospitalized, like uh, being in a very serious situation right now that he, she is in grave pain over um, a fall that, you know, she had while she was fleeing from the Agua. Yes, so now while she was fleeing from the Agua, they said that she fell badly and she hit her ribs on the staircase. You know, um, um, they all live in duplexes, and so her place also is a duplex. And they said that um, um, she fell while she was um, fleeing. They said the way they built the house, they made it very convenient for all of them that upstairs um, they have, this is what we heard allegedly, that uh, it's a five-bedroom um, apartment with a study. And that five-bedroom apartment has um, two kitchens, one kitchen upstairs and one kitchen downstairs. And they say upstairs it has three bedrooms, downstairs it has two bedrooms. For each person, that was what the only of it fair gifted to these women. Now, now, in Nigeria of today, where Pepe has become in a, 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 a budget, you have to budget to be able to eat Pepe if you're one who eats Pepe very well. Is it easy to get that kind of apartment, even if it is in Ile Ife right there? But because they are married to a great king who is thankful for what God has given to him, he's as generous as anything, and they, go, they always get what they want. And one would have thought that they would come together and try as much as uh, they can to support this man. That is if all the information we keep getting on social media is the truth. And so the say she saw this um, um, uh, agua in their, uh, um, kitchen upstairs, like she went there to go and wash her hands or they said she wanted water to drink or something. She went there, she saw this agua that was, you know, um, waiting for her there. She sprang into action and she ran as she was running down the staircase that she slipped and she fell badly. It was even her aunt who ran after her that helped her up. They ran into the car and they said um, they went into a hotel. They did not go to the palace because she said to her aunt that they were not going to accept them to um, um, uh, get into the palace of the Oni of Ife. So they got to the hotel. But while they tried to settle in the, um, the hotel, they said she couldn't sleep. She had this excruciating pain around her back region, her side because of the fall. And so the aunt had to, you know, rush her to the hospital that night. That is the information we are getting that she's going through a very serious, serious pain right now, um, um, going by what had happened to her. Now, um, I think that there's an adage, you know, um, Delaram would always speak from an adage, okay? Now, one thing that people should tell these women uh, for them to understand is that, you see, in this world where we are, no matter how strong or great a man is, he should never, ever try to challenge his God. You may not necessarily be a traditionalist, for people like Ikbi, they say she is a Muslim. Now, one thing that civilized people do, you may not necessarily believe in or, uh, or believe in other people's belief system, but you want to respect it. Now, um, the if a land is a traditional land and the palace community is a traditional community, they have so many different deities that they pay respect to, they honor and all of that. And this... Um, deities from a time immemorial. These people believe that they have served them. They're like the deities have been there, helped them in different phases of their difficulties in life and all of that. And when you get um, to be part or you accept to be part of such a community, you want to understand that you have to be very, very careful. Do not think that you're in a banana republic where you can do certain things and just get away with them. Know that you can never be more powerful than your God. As a human being, whoever, whatever God you worship, you need to know that you can never be more powerful than them. Now, you know, the reason why I think that um, these people slow down happens to be because 
uh, we got the report that shortly after they made a decision that Olorinami wasn't returning back into the palace, they also made a, re- a decision to go and um, appease um, the, that deity, Iyami Osorongo. Yes, so they made a decision to go and appease that deity. And so they did. And everybody thought everything was okay. But right now, it does seem as if the woman has decided to go after people who are guilty. And that is exactly what is going on right now. They said that Iyami Osoranga is a deity that is um, um, connected to women. That has to do with the protection of women and all of that. It's a whole lot where you dig deep. Uh, but they, they, it's kind but it has a very de- as in wicked face, wicked, deadly face. That when you trespass that deity, yeah, like your your beef eh, is big, is big. You should just look for a place to go and hide. And right now, that is it. And so, this is um, what this is about. You know that time and time again, you hear people say, "Why is only of if they're not doing anything? Why are they not doing this? Why are they not doing that?" Now, I said, King, he believes in the gods that he is serving. He knows that they will stand up, they will walk, they will do their work. He is not supposed to be carrying people to police every day, carrying them to police. I think he knows that at time, at the appointed time, they will stand up. And that is why he's been warning them, these women, to be very careful as we are hearing. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Della Ram. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the south. And still on the royals. How are you guys doing? I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support, your kindness towards my channel. I appreciate you um, so much. If you're yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead. Hit that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Now, um, as we are hearing, if this information is the truth, is that um, um, uh, EP is hospitalized they say she is hospitalized from um, the fall that she ran and she fell from her staircase. She hit her ribs, her waist, everywhere. Like she went through a serious pain. Like the pain was so excruciating that night that she was crying and crying the entire time. And if not for the aunt, nobody knows what would have happened to her. They had to move her from the hotel where she was to um, uh, one of the hospitals right there in Ile Ife. Do not forget that these are all alleged, rumored, speculated information. I do not live in the palace of the Oni of Ife. Neither am I related to the Oni of Ife or related to anyone who is related to them. I'm just a blogger. I get an information, I bring it here and also tell you that whatever Whatever you get on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.